Hello, hello everybody, it's your boy Prof and we're back again with a new video by Casual to Graphic. This is, you have never seen animals like this before. Let's go y'all, let's enjoy this. Mom, Mom come outside, there's a f***ing moose. What the hell are those? Like or some fight. Looks like a goat on steroids. Uh, actually, what is this? I got a thick ass neck though. I bet you don't. Damn. Chances are, most of you have never seen this tree chonk before. I'll it is a chonker. Second, but first, sure. quick question. If you hey, had yo, 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 yo. Before that, brother, what is that? Please tell me that is not the appendage I'm thinking of. Quick question. If you had to take a God, guess, damn. how many species of mammals do you think are in the world? Think of all the ones you've seen in your entire Mammals? Think K? Life and try to imagine what number it's that would to. The answer? 6,495. Hey, wasn't that and far counting, off. And that's just the mammals. Add in animals in general, and we're talking millions. Which brings me to Damn. my next point. Yeah, hey, it's an armadillo. Armageddon. Uh, Illuminati. From Madagascar. Illuminati. Yeah, it is from Madagascar. I don't know the actual name. Damn, that's from Madagascar. Something from the Bronx. Oh, it's a uh, Limur. Nasty. Yo, what is that? That is not a real animal. That is not a real animal. Nah, 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 bro. That is from like a horror movie or some shit. 14th Street. <laughs> this man is a wordsmith. <laughs> Laugh at my man's all you want, but understand if school doesn't teach it to you and you don't see it yeah. in a zoo or a national. How would you know half these motherfuckers' names? Geographic, and it's not the animal of the week on Reddit, you'd have no way of knowing some animals even exist. Which is why That's I a can personally guarantee that you haven't seen or heard of all 10 animals in this video. All 10. Okay, you let's go. Three or four. Animal Planet veterans might get six or seven, and hey, some of y'all might know eight just from watching me long enough. But I promise you there's gonna be at least one animal I talk about that you've never heard of before. I put that on my hairline. Hey, I, wear I bet. I don't know all 10 of them, okay? My brain doesn't brain enough, motherfucker. You underestimate me. I don't know shit. This had every video for a reason. So let's make a game <laughs> out of it. If I show you something new, you lose. And you gotta comment what animal was the one to stump. What is that? 90% of y'all, the game ends right here. Because what do you think this is? No Some idea. kind of monkey? Maybe an obese lemur or an AI generated... It's a monkey hamster hybrid that went fat, but was a bodybuilder once upon a time. Loth, you're not gonna believe this. It's a koala. Okay, not the really. Hell? A koala is actually closer than anything else I said. This porky, dead-eyed struggle monkey is the bear Cuscus, and despite I mean, this thing like is cute, I don't be honest with you. Parts, it's actually a marsupial. This thing that looks like a Madagascar understudy is more related to kangaroos, devils, and quokkas <laughs> oh. than it is to any lemur. And that's about as Look much as we know about them. We haven't been able to figure out much more. They've essentially been gate kept from the rest of the world, only found on Why? the Indonesian island of Sulawesi and remote oh, islands. They're an island, but we have no clue how many overstuffed tree chunguses or chungai are in circular. Again, I gotta ask. I sincerely hope that it's its tail, because if it's not the tail, then we are all in danger. And I see why God kept them on an island. And currently, only four I look at that face. Sloth on its roster. Even its name is an identity crisis since Cuscus means possum. Cus -cus. Meaning, on paper, you're looking at a bear possum, but its Latin name is Alurops ursinus. And I didn't take Latin in high school because French was too sexy, but I'm pretty sure that ursinus means cat is like bear. bear. Basically, not even science had a handle on what this off brand koala was. And they have the same meal plan as them. And since they eat nothing but leaves, they virtually spend huh. their entire lives on quarter playback speed. In fact, this Look at the nails, though. spends 5% of its day eating mm -mm. and 63% mm -mm. resting. That's 16 hours a day Damn. eating and recovering from eating. <laughs> that is load management. And boy, is this tree chonk a load. Yeah, that's a lot They'd of load. They'd probably be cute if their eyes didn't disturb me on a spiritual level. <laughs> this is a cuscus that has seen some shit. Bro, why is his face like that, bro? It looks like he waits outside of, like, schoolyards. And in a black, in a white van. Since they're painfully shy, and will even cover themselves with leaves if they see you first. Since they're terrified That's of humans cute. and only live in the most isolated areas of the forest. Also, this is a Dalud bear cuscus, and they're a lot cuter, Lut. but it also looks like a wombat Aww. that got severely laced. But with them Bro, being highly rare, treatment. wombats, because he mentioned them, are extremely cute. Like if you see a wombat. Bro, that's an aww if I ever seen one. Marsupial introverts. It makes sense that you've probably never seen them before. But the nope. next animal is probably the biggest one you've never heard of. This animal has been called Six Dissimilarities, and it's because it honestly looks like a wildebeest, buffalo, bear, and friends all did a fusion dance. Yeah, I don't know. This was the outcome. I'd... This absolute unit is a talking, and they can stress this. I'm pretty sure I've seen it. 
in like videos or something, but I've got no idea what it's called. Now I do. Up to 800 pounds of pure confusion. The Tolkien is essentially a giga goat with their closest like relatives the being the it mountain goat in the world. And, and yes, the mountain goat isn't an actual goat because that makes sense. The huh? Sichuan Tolkien actually shares a range with the giant panda and they use the that nose panda. to heat up air before it hits their lungs. That nose job of necessity also makes it look like a moose that got too cocky with a beehive, <laughs> which is no joke how they were Damn. first described by scientists. Beast I won't moose. do this for every animal, but this Latin name, Budorcus taxi color, means badger colored cow ops. That is not its Latin name, taxi color. Really? Interesting. Talkins also sweat oil that smells like burning rubber, and they use huh? this to mark their territory. They're not known they menaces, but oil. they do have their moments. In 2007, a Talkin broke into a man's house and injured him and eight other people, one of them a pregnant woman. And in What the hell is going on in that house? By the way, how do nine people cannot take care of a one animal? Come on, y'all. 18, during a routine visit from the vet, a Talkin decided he wasn't having it anymore, busting out his enclosure doors and wandering the zoo for an hour, injuring pounds. two workers in the process. Damn. Basically, he's not okay, a killer, so don't now. push I him. Apologize. Same thing with the next animal on this list, which might be the second biggest creature you've never heard of. Because the taper is endowed in more ways than one. But we'll get to that, guidelines willing. It's a giant plus-size river pig that's actually I've closer to tapir. horses, rhinos, and wild asses. I know oh, it, Tapir. Too. Okay, you know where I know this from? Uh, there was like, there is this one animal zoo game that you can make and you can craft zoos that I played and they had tapirs. The national used to bring the fuck out these two. Of all out there. There's four types I like of tapers, that though. And the Malaysian one might just strike a nostalgia nerve if you ever played Pokemon. Because Drowsy Pokemon? was actually based on the travel size Ugh. Oreo elephants of Asia. According Yo, to that Pokemon looks like a degenerate. Mythology, this taper like, was associated so weird with the hentai. Japanese Baku. And the Baku, Baku were said to feed on the dreams of people, especially nightmares. Hey, hey I'm not sure what that one Baku is feeding on, but God, hey, yo, brother. Not in public. Real tapers are pretty chill for what they are, even though they can get into the neighborhood of 700 Aww. pounds. But they have the dental facilities to bite clean through your arms, so they're definitely one of those F around and find yeah, out. Yeah, it looks like one a fat king. One found out when a taper nearly oh. ripped a two year old in half during a supervised visit in a Dublin zoo. But for the most part, this. First off, if you get a two year old child, your two year old child, anywhere near a big enough, bigger animal than maybe even a cat, I wouldn't even put a two year old near a cat, okay? You're a bad parent. Like, n no ifs, maybes, ors. You are just a bad parent. Protect your goddamn children, you stupid piece of shit. This boneless river rhino Fuck is now. just a flaccid faced oh. gentle giant that I Oh, what is going on there? Of. I mean, just look at the teeth on this little guy. Is he French? You can't tell me that's not cute. Speaking of babies and where they come from, Tabers must have made a deal with I'm the devil honest, we don't not that about, cute. Since they have a fifth leg long enough to use as a tripod or as a DIY back scratch. Yo, brother in Christ! Holy when it comes to herbivorous mammals of the world, the taper is the real cock of the walk. And to cleanse your eyes from that unsolicited salami stick, I give you the sensei bunny. It's actually oh a rodent called a viscacha. God, that's adorable! He does look like he knows some ancient kung fu and shit. Closest relative is the chinchilla, <laughs> but sensei bunny just makes sense. Especially since this is their oh default my God. pose. And it's because where viscachas live is chilly. It's also kind of cold. So they spend every morning sunbathing and waiting to provide advice to anyone who requires it. Also, I really wish I didn't waste that Chungus joke earlier because yeah, God, it's right there. It is. And the reason they look like a vertically cheated but horizontally defeated obese wallaby is because, like the chinchilla, the viscacha has some of the densest fur on the planet. Oh. Also, I'll be honest, I knew about the viscacha. I did not know they could move like that. That's an actual sleeper build. No, Damn. like literally, they look like they were built to sleep when they're not passing Damn. judgment. This is the look of an animal who I mean, if you sleep 19 hours a day, you gotta have some energy, right? This natural predator is a pee test. Brother is faded, faded. But yeah, that's a viscacha. And by the way, if you didn't lose the game already, this next animal almost guarantees you will. Because okay. yeah, there is an animal in this picture, and it's possible. Huh? That looks like a dildo backpack. Probably the cutest the hell is that? people know nothing about. And that's because not only is this animal nocturnal and lives in the Amazon equivalent of a penthouse, during the day, it's sleeping in this silk cotton tree camouflaged as a seed pod fiber. And that's how the silky anteater got its name. The silky so when your biggest hops are eagles with some of the best vision on earth, that is the best you can Bam. do. Like the rest of the anteater family, they have claws. Yeah. And unlike their cousin the sloth, they actually know how to use them. <laughs> a sleeping silky will nap with its four legs and claws right next to its face. Bam. Really not that different from dozing off with a knife under your pillow. Bro, imagine walking the Amazon at night, just chilling, and this motherfucker falls down on your head. They also Thank keep 5,000 ants a day, and they yeah. use that sticky barbed tongue to yeah. skewer and trap their protein. I'll and be since ant eaters have cute. zero teeth, they have stomachs like bird gizzards designed to grind the ants down. Proof that beauty Damn. is subjective, because what's cute to us is a harbinger of death and I don't know if I would call that thing cute, completely honestly. I mean, it's kind of fuzzy. 
It's got hair. That face. Uh. And decide if you're an ant. But I'm not an ant, and you probably aren't nah. either. So let's just take some time to marvel at this pocket-sized baby face dollar. I would not kill that bitch. It's not the only token from South America on this Ew. list. Q the Hollow Knight. This the might Hollow look like Knight? a regular run-of-the-mill bird, but this little dude has one of the coldest pickup lines in the game. Okay. Damn. How did he make that noise? Why did it look like it came out of his ass? That's pretty dope. Do it again. <laughs> that is a Sounds like a siren a little mannequin bit. Mannequin singing a love song with his feathers. Basically, ah, this the small feathers. bird from Central and South America has modified flight feathers, and by vibrating them, the mannequin shoots a shot with a specialized sound That's that varies crazy. by bird. Some mannequins do a solid violin impression, others sound like fireworks on the 4th of July. <laughs> also, they make this sound by shaking their feathers a hundred times a second, twice as fast Damn. as the mascot for ADHD, the hummingbird. And they do all this while dancing. They're really the Michael Jackson of birds. And I'm not even gonna pretend <laughs> like I know I didn't even know they existed place. until like a week ago. And if it wasn't for a certain holiday, this next animal might not exist, period. Also, okay. I know the whole crab thing has kind of become a meme, but we're gonna have to talk form. about how many animals Endgame is a rabbit. This is the second animal here that isn't even remotely related to them, what? yet stole most of their design. The Bilby is another marsupial. Oh, I've seen this, this before. This Snorlax monkey are basically family. The greater Bilby can be found in the harsh yeah, I've seen this from somewhere. of Australia. Now you might be asking, is there a left? I think I've seen this on National Geographic, actually. Sir Bilby, and yeah, there was. And now they're dead, so clearly not good enough. Damn. The greater Bilby's not that far behind since they're endangered, which is pretty wild for an animal that only gets pregnant for two weeks. Not even exaggerating, at about 14 huh? days, Bilbies Yo, have one of the them shortest off. cook times of any animal. They're also a close relative of the bandicoot. Yeah, that's a real animal, the more you know. Bandit. But yeah, greater Bilbies used to inhabit 70% of Australia, and today they're barely holding on to less than 20. And a who's, big reason was who's humans marking airdropping them? threats like foxes and feral cats. Ah. But these days, the word's been getting out about the plight of the appropriation bunny, and they can thank the sale of chocolate Bilbies on Easter. Easter Bilby started in 93, and they've Aww. been part of the culture ever That's since. That's kind of cute. It's only right that they replaced rabbits, since rabbits are one of the things that got the Bilby population Damn. in the butt. But today, there's well over... Bro, that was a lot of rabbits. Over 3,000 of them. Not great, but they're not in the worst spot. They're not as 3, down 000? bad as animal number eight. That's since so there's little. hundreds of them left on the planet. 800. Nobody would blame you if you went your entire life without seeing it. Since they're shy, endangered, and the only place you can find them is in special underground caves in the Balkans. The Ulm is a salamander that's blind. Wait, I'm in the Balkans, goddammit. Vampire pale and happens to be one of the most fundamentally confusing animals in the world. I don't think First I've seen all, this thing before. Blind, I have never eyes a I have never seen this thing before. What the hell is that? Looks like a Dark Souls boss Once a little bit. Born and even grow a layer of skin over them. Yet they can still detect and avoid light. The Ohm can go a whole decade without food by storing important nutrients in their liver. Usually when you talk about animals that live the longest, you're looking at relatively bigger creatures like elephants, whales, and tortoises. This okay. tiny blind salamander has a <laughs> lifespan more comparable to us at about 70 years and scientists think it can max out at well over a century. For reference, there might be an Ohm salamander right now that was alive when World War I popped off. A reason for this is, unlike Maybe he participated. Archduke Ferdinand, the Ohm has zero enemies. There was even <laughs> one Ohm on record that straight up didn't move Three for fingers. a whole seven years. What? The Anakin <laughs> Challenge was in 2016. Bro just never stopped playing. Ohms don't be rushing for How anybody, they... which is why they wait Eat. once a decade to get laid. Yeah, oh. they only breed about once every 12 years, which is probably why there's only an estimated hey, 400. They like me for real, for real. in stock. They done protected their peace so much that their whole community finna rest in it. And for animal number nine, you're gonna have to hear me out. Okay. Hyenas aren't unknown at all, but out nope. of the four species of them, the brown hyena is by far the, the rarest brown we've hyena. talked about. Which it's is so small. Because they're actually one of my favorite predators in Africa because I love me an underdog. They're not really great hunters and will often get checked by lions <laughs> and even their own spotted cousins. Damn. Not to mention wild dogs and jackals can get their Yeah, wild dogs are crazy, cubs. brother. But brown hyenas are also major kleptos that'll pocket kills from their competition. The yoink shit. Sometimes they'll body a 5v1 against cheetahs and walk away with their food and their pride. Two things Damn. that are pretty dope about them is one, even though they're not dogs, brown hyenas have a social structure a lot like a wolf pack with the two parents and all their kids. And number two is that they managed to turn an abandoned town into a nursery. There's an old ghost town in the Namibian desert that has uh -huh. no trace of humans, yet brown hyenas use the desolate houses and empty mines as dens to keep their kids in while they go grocery Aww. shopping. Bro, these are cute mean, though. Can we stop, you know, 
Making them into pets, please? Up to 20 miles of walking a day. One kind of famous adorable. hyena mother has apparently lived in these forgotten ruins for 15 years and even raised nine generations of cubs Bro, and him. counting. Moral of the story, hyenas deserve better and Damn. Simba really ain't shit for putting them out like this. But that ain't even close to how hard humanity has violated the last animal here. Okay, let's see. This What's isn't that? a raccoon, skunk, or a cat. It's one of the members of the cat side of the carnivore family, specifically called Filiform, which makes this result of an over-the-hedge orgy more related to hyenas. Bro, it looks like a cross between four animals. Like, each body part is different. Look at that. It's adorable, though. Than they are to the raccoons they cosplay God as. damn. The African civet is only one of over African a dozen civet. species of civet seasoned across Africa and Asia. The raccoon colorway is actually a form of camouflage. Since the patterns break up Aww. their outline, it makes it harder to spot them in the bush. You might not have seen them in the flesh and fur, but you might have heard about them especially if you drink coffee because the world's most expensive and gate kept coffee, coffee? Kopi luwak is made from the coffee beans found in the poop of the asian palm civet how they live why is it always some expensive ass food is either found in a nut sack of an animal is the nut sack of some animal or is the poop of an animal can somebody explain this to me what is wrong with us literally put two what is wrong with humanity with that? i don't want to know and of course this demand could lead to civets being captured caged and force-fed coffee beans in order to supply uh, full disclosure i don't on, drink bro. coffee so i really wouldn't know but there's no way it can be worth it and well, it's not even the only usually when you ingest the coffee beans i think it's a lot stronger than actually drinking the coffee so it's kind of crazy civet to get his brown eye exploited by people that was a wild sentence yes African it was god musk, damn white, brother nasty smelling stuff that scientists <laughs> like to call civet butter Civets use it to mark their territory, but somehow people figured out they can use its butt glands for perfume, specifically Chanel number no. five. And they get the juices they need by scraping it from the civet's pink balloon knot. So if you Bro. have some Chanel on deck and it says natural ingredients, that was a wild sentence. Ingredients on the God bottle. There's damn. a good chance it came from. Uh, yeah. But yeah, civets in general are pretty They're cool. Cute. They can actually be super affectionate when raised by people. And if I had to pick a favorite, I'd have Aww. to go with Austin's Palm Civet. Literally only because I think they're cool looking. I yeah, mean, they are. You're going to tell me I'm wrong? No, you're so not. Yeah, that's 10 that animals is adorable. you've probably never seen before. Except yeah. when I was... I think I saw like... I, there was like one or two I've seen before. Making this list, I was stuck at 11 and could not decide what okay. animal to leave off. 11? But then I realized, I have free will. And this is my exactly. So y'all get a bonus animal and probably my favorite animal on here. Ladies and it? gentlemen, I give you the tree kangaroo. Specifically, huh? the Goodfellows tree kangaroo. Like the name suggests, this kangaroo's entire personality is trees. They're mad awkward on land, but they can jump from a height of three stories and fully tank the fall damage. They're kind of like the cuss cuss Damn. because of where and how they live. A lot okay, of this is a lot cuter than normal have kangaroos. No clue they exist. But unlike the cuss cuss who looks like the drop bear Aussies keep warning us about, <laughs> the good fellow genuinely looks like a tree loving yeah. teddy bear. And it's not they just that there's 14 flavors of branch bears, including. But those nails, yeah, I don't know. They don't look adorable, the nails. Including the incredibly rare Tenkyle, with only hundreds of them alive today. And the Wandiwa tree kangaroo, who scientists genuinely believe went extinct after going off the grid for 90 years. Until they randomly just popped up out of nowhere. What? And for y'all that don't How understand, that it's like the science equivalent of Tupac being alive this entire time in Cuba. Proving that Come when it comes on, to nature, the only thing we know don't for bring sure that back. is that we really don't know much at all. But that's gonna do it for this video. Make sure to check all out right. my TikTok. Okay, I'm curious. How many of you have known these people? Things, okay let me know in the comments like comment subscribe and i'll see y'all later hope y'all enjoy this bye everybody